Welcome to this week's edition of the OCU Athletics Update. I'm Andrew Himes. And this week we're talking to Superstar Athlete of the Week, Joey Miller, and baseball coach, Denny Craybaugh. Hi, I'm here with Joey Miller, senior from Woodward, Oklahoma. Miller captured her second consecutive WCWA National Championship at 116 pounds. Congratulations on that. What went into your success as a wrestler? Um, a lot of time and effort. I feel my parents had a lot of time and effort. They took me to a lot of different camps growing up. And I mean, I've been wrestling for 20 years, so yeah. took a lot of practices and camps and the coaching. If I didn't have the coaches that I have now, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at today. What does it mean for you that you hold the OCU career record for pins? I went out with a bang. <laughs> yeah. How many did you have? For the um, it was like 72, I think. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> what does it mean to you to be the only native Oklahoman on the team? Um, I get to represent my state. Um, there's not girl wrestling in Oklahoma. There's girls that wrestle, but we can compete against guys. Mm -hmm. So it shows, you know, the competition level, and I'm able to represent the state and show what we're made of. And how does that kind of change the dynamic of the team since everyone's um, from all over the place? We're all, everyone has different backgrounds, but for the most part, everybody grew up doing the same thing, going through the same stuff, mm -hmm. and we all understand each other, so it's really not I any different. Yeah. How long have you known OCU coach Archie Randall? 17 years. Oh, wow. I used to go to his practices, and he would coach me at his practices. I'd have to drive about two hours twice a week and he would work with me. So did you kind of grow up thinking that you would come to OCU? Well, um, he actually, the year he got women's wrestling was, I was going to be a senior in co high school and I signed immediately. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even think of anything else. But um, before that, I didn't know what I, where I was going to do or whether mm -hmm. I was going to wrestle. But as soon as he got the program, he got it so the girls from Oklahoma wouldn't have to leave the state, right. which worked for me because it's two and a half hours from my hometown. Yeah. So Very cool. What will you remember about your time here at OCU? Everything else in life will be easy compared <laughs> to what I went through here. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of time, a lot of dedication, and everything that I go through here, I'll be able to use towards my career in a later life, and everything else will be nice and easy, a breeze. <laughs> So what are your career plans? I want to be a physical therapist. I'm going to try to get into PT school and go off from there. Very good. Well, good luck with everything. Thank and you. that's it for this week's episode of Superstar of the Week. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to OCU baseball coach Denny Craybaugh. The Stars get the season underway on Friday, February 1st, 2 o'clock against Culver Stockton. And coach, 14 letter winners coming back from last year's team. Tell us about some of the guys coming back that we need to pay attention to this year. Well, uh, position player wise, it starts with Chris Munoz. Uh, he was our leadoff hitter last year. I think he had 14 home runs, hit close to 400. Uh, uh, playing shortstop for us. He's going to move over to third base this year, and he's again is going to hit at the top of the order. He's a big catalyst for our offense, and he's a guy that's going to have to make it go. Uh, other guys, Cody Farrell, uh, come back last year, or was hurt for a lot of last year. He's healthy now. We're looking for a big year from him. Uh, he's another guy that's going to hit for, uh, for average, steal a lot of bases. Uh, we're hoping that uh, he can st get about 50 or 60 bags uh, uh, if if possible, and kind of help us go that way. Um, pitching wise, we have uh, Cody Crayball. He's back, uh, one of our starters back. He won 10 games for us last year, and he'll be back this year. Uh, 
Ryan Gibson, another guy who was injured most of the year but came on strong at the end. He's healthy now and he'll be a rotation guy. Uh, Pat Geltz uh, was our closer last year and he's back in that role and he might end up doing a little bit extra, some other things. And then Davis Henderson's another pitcher that's back last year. I think he was 7-0 and uh, primarily as the setup guy and the uh, guy that comes in and stops momentum. So uh, we've got a good core of guys coming back uh, that know what to do and know what needs to be done, and we're using those guys to kind of help bring the new guys in. Tell us about some of those new guys. Who are we going to see, who are we going to hear a lot from this year? Well, one of the guys you're going to hear from is Chase Jensen. He's our shortstop this year, transfer from University of Houston. He's a big right-handed hitter. He's got a lot of power, and he's attracted a lot of attention from scouts. Uh, and he's going to be hitting in the middle of our lineup, and we're hoping he's going to replace some of the numbers that Miguel had for us last year and Dane and those guys. Another guy will be John Rodriguez. He's an outfielder. He's, again, another middle of the lineup guy, and uh, he's another guy who's going to hit for power, hit for average, and uh, be kind of an all-around guy for us, and hopefully going to be a big run producer. First baseman, Forrest Smith, another transfer uh, out of Bakersfield, California, came from uh, one of our former players that's coaching out there, rec uh, sent him to us. And Big left-handed hitter that, again, another middle lineup is going to have to produce runs for us. So, you know, those three guys sit there in the middle of the lineup. Our guys are going to have to produce runs for us. A couple of weeks ago, you inducted a former player into the OCU uh, Sports Hall of Fame, Mario Delgado. Tell us about him. Mario is probably the best player they ever play through here when you're talking about the overall, because uh, he was a two-way guy. He was a pitcher and a hitter as well. Uh, Hit, I think his career average was like 435, uh, was NAIA Player of the Year back in 2001, and he also won 16 games over the two years. I think he was 10-2 and two or 10-1 and one his senior year, something like that for us. So he's a guy that uh, when we talk about hitters and talk about uh, pure hitters, he's the guy that's at the top of the list that's come through this program. Uh, I don't think... Uh, Keith would argue with that at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think in his uh, nomination speech, uh, when he introduced Mario, uh, he called him the best hitter we've ever had. So uh, uh, he was pretty special when he played here. And, uh, you know, we're really happy that he got inducted in the Hall of Fame. And I know if you watched his uh, induction speech, how moving it was and how touched he was and how special it was to him as well. You mentioned your assistant, Keith Lytle. He's been an assistant for you for quite some time. Talk about what he brings to the team, what kind of hitting instruction he provides, and just that consistency that you get from having an assistant with you for that long. Uh, we're, we're married. It's kind of like an old married couple around there. We finish each other's sentences sometimes, and we kind of know what each other's thinking before we even say it. And It gets scary at times. But, uh, no, pure and simple, Keith Lytle is the best hitting instructor there is around in this part of the country, and I think you'll get a lot of scouts that will agree with you. Uh, they keep asking me, how have you kept him around for 25 years? Uh, this is our 25th year together. And I said, I don't know, but I've been pretty lucky. But Keith has the passion and the energy, I mean, not, not only for baseball, but hitting and, you know, and the kids. And I've called him many a times the heart and soul of the program. And, and, and he is the, that rock, and he's been there steadily. He's the guy that uh, keeps us all going and, and the right, focused in the right direction when we all get uh, – a little bit off track and uh, and he's just someone that I it, it's just special to be around him and I still to this day uh, love to hear him talk about baseball and talk about hitting because uh, it's uh, it never gets old. During your playing days you had a chance to play for your dad as a coach and now you've got a chance to coach your son. Uh, what have, What's similar about those experiences? What have you taken from one to the other and what's it like being able to coach a guy like Cody? Well it's uh, Coaching Cody, it's been a blast. I wouldn't have changed it for the world. I mean, uh, he was a little hesitant in signing with us because uh, he did, didn't know what to kind of expect. And, and I told him about uh, my experiences with my father. I said, you know, you go out there and you do the job, you do the work, you don't look for special entitlements, you don't look, uh, you know, try to go around and say, hey, I'm something special, I'm, you know, coach's son, you can't touch me and I can do whatever I want. And I said, you come in and do the work and, and earn their respect and of your teammates and, and other people. And, and this other stuff it is not a factor. But it's been a real joy. Uh, I always tell my wife, because Sue is a stay-at-home mom, and she got to basically raise them while I was doing baseball. And 
I got the finished project. I get around them. She was around them more when they were young, and I'm around them more when they're older, and uh, I get uh, a little bit better of a finished project. It's a lot easier for me than it was for her, but uh, I wouldn't have traded it. It's been a complete joy. All right, Coach, thanks. We've been talking to OCU baseball coach Denny Craybaugh. Stars get their season underway this weekend, Friday, February 1st, against Culver Stockton. You can keep up with their progress on OCUsports.com. That's it for this week's edition of the OCU Athletics Update. Check back every week for all the latest in OCU sports.